Hey, hello, YouTube world, YouTube community. This your boy, Crip Sag, tapping in again. Compton chapter. Now, now, I remember the second video I wanted to drop because I got a phone call a little while ago from Dura Ransom, Sam, from 107 Hoover. Um, devil rest in peace, brother. Joe Ransom, rest in peace, brother. And um, when he gave me the call after me talking with Sam, I realized that the video I wanted to drop was my relationship with the Hoover Crips. And um, yeah, man, you know, cause Sam, Dura Ransom, is major in that, as well as Mumbles, Sule Yancey Tate from A Trey Hoover. But I mean, there's many of them, plenty of them that I love equally, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, man, my relationship, man, go back with them dudes, man. I mean, it's as early as 19, what, 73? That I can remember, you know, when I first ran across them guys, Hoover Crest. You know, I remember being a juvenile hall with Rock now from Hoover, 73. I went in and long, I was just overnight, and then the next day, I got signed out to my pantry that they was there to get me out, so. Uh, but it goes back to then. But uh, I had became tight with uh, Zach from Sevenfold and Baby Al from a Track. They was crime partners. And he was in juvenile hall with me. Now, Baby Al had wore a helmet on his head because he had got shot in the head. And his skull was, you know, messed up right then. He had a dentation in his head. You know, his, his sink down his head because he didn't have the skull and he had no plate yet. So he had to wear a helmet to protect him. And what it was in the robbery, the guy grabbed the gun and wrestled the gun and, and got the gun, pointed the gun on Cuz and got and was able to shoot him with the gun, you know, in the robbery. But uh, Al had to wear a helmet. But Al was active, you know, despite him having that injury. Al always wanted to get in the shit and want to fight. I'm like, Al, cuz, you can't be fighting, huh? You got that shit going on with your head, huh? He's like, say, good, fuck that shit, cuz. You know, when he, when he was mad and upset about himself or whatever, he, when he want to get in, he want to get in. But I'm like, no, cuz, fuck that. Now I'll fight this nigga in your place, homie. I ain't going to let you fight cuz like that, huh? So... I used to fight in our place, man. I mean, because I didn't even want cuz, you know, he ain't had a plate in his head yet, none of that shit, you know. And I cared about him, you know. He was a good dude, man, you know. But then shit, man, I went to Nellis, cuz, and I got the haze. I was on haze with with Mumbles from A Trey, Big 12 from 11 Deuce, Roscoe from 11 Deuce, and, uh,. I don't know who else was there, but Lumpy from uh, 107 came late on to Hayes. Jeffrey Thompson. Lumpy came. But uh, anyway, I got real tight with uh, Mumbles, man. Yancey Tate. He, he known as Soule now. But I got real tight with Yancey Tate uh, Mumbles. And then I got transferred to YTS, cuz. And then when I was in YTS, I'm not sure if me and uh, Sam was on orientation together. But I know me and Spark then was on A and B orientation and TS together. Me, Sparks. Oh, I was on orientation, man. Yeah, I need my brain to warm up cuz on that one. But, but me and Spark, we end up on U and V. Now, when we got the UNV, cuz, shit, uh, Big Ann Malone was over there, Pee Wee from Lantana, James Taylor, Curtis Brown from Lantana was over there, uh, Fontenot, Hogg from 107 Hoover, 
Viva from Kitchen, Casey from Kitchen, Koo from Kitchen, Big Skip from Backstreet, Baby Wayne from Kona Pocket, uh, cuz who else is over there with us, cuz? Uh, damn, I ain't even my motherfucking brain to warm up, cuz. Okay, Duck, so, uh, Dwayne Soils from Jordan Down, cuz was over there with us. Few more people, cuz, but I just I need my brain to warm up, cuz. But anyway, they broke UMZ up, cuz, cause UMZ was active, man. We weren't allowing no busters on when when peak when, when peak squeak ass niggas came to the unit, we rolled them up. We like, cuz, you gotta get off this motherfucker, homie. Make room for the homie or something. You gotta get off of here. So we were still active. So, you know, they broke the motherfucking unit up, cuz, and they sent me to C and D. And when I got to C and D, I ended up over there with Sam, Daryl Ransom. And then, boom, you know, I fell in love with Sam. We became brothers, man, right out the gate, man, me and Sam. You know, even Sue Lake, you know, Mumbles, when I was at Nellis from Mumbles. But Nellis, Mumbles ended up coming to TS later on. Uh, I thought uh, they sent me there from Nellis. But I remember Mumbles coming, too. But uh, but me and Sam, cuz, got real tight, man. That's my brother right now today, so... Me and Sam got real tight. We was over there on CND with me, Sam, uh, James Jenkins from the West Side, uh, um, Marlon Black, Snake from Carver Park, uh, Rab from the jo- Jordan Downs. Uh, who else is over there? It was Fat Rat from Brim, Ernie Golf from Inglewood Family, Underdog was over there with us, uh, Lil T from Inglewood Family. He was over there with us. Uh, um, Jimmy Woods. Jimmy Woods. Uh, Pablo Jimmy Woods. He was uh, on CND with us. Uh, shit, who, who else, man? Uh, who else? Gillespie. Ernie, Ernest Gillespie. He was claiming Carver Park. Cubs is over there with us. Um, who else is over there with us, man? On C and D, man. Peabody was working the kitchen, but he wasn't on the same unit as us. But uh, he was on another unit. But he Peabody from Denver Lane was working the kitchen. And that's when I was in my TS, man, on C and D, and I became um, tight with Daryl Ransom. And uh, Daryl Ransom introduced me. To the Hoovers on the street. That's when I started going into today's area, hanging out with them guys back in the day. And, and, and I just formed a great relationship with them dudes over the years and over time. You know what I mean? And, um, and Mumbles used to come to see me and Big um, Queek and um, um, man, I could just go on, man. Um, I got my big brother's man, P.T., Pretty Tony, Antonio Reed, uh, shit, man, uh, 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 Philip Jackson, uh, uh, because, man, it's just ricochet, uh, uh, fuck, I mean, I can't name all of them, cuz, uh, Vulture, Stretch, uh, Snake, um, pup. Um, it's just too many of them, God. It's just too many of them, man. Um, Lil Hoover. Um, 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 <sighs> Big Nutty. Um, I say a lump. <sighs> Hoorah. Um, Chuckala, um, Pumpkin, um, man, 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 when they come to them dudes, man, it's just too many of them, cuz. It's just too many of them, cuz. But, man, my relationships, man, go back with them dudes, man, um, shit, 47 years, brother. 47 years, man. And I still love them dudes right now in the day, man. 
Jughead, rest in peace. Uh, man, it's just too many of them, God. It's just too many of them name, homie. You know what I mean? Some stand-up dudes, man. I mean, some stand-up dudes, man. That, that's all I can say, bro. I mean, I know over time, man, you know, they... You know, got into it with a lot of other fractions and groups and et cetera, man. But hey, man, it is what it is, man. And I'm, and I'm going I'm not gonna knock nobody before they get down, man. You understand? Everybody had a right to stand up, right, homie? You understand? So, I mean, you know, like I say, I respect us all the same, top to bottom, because you know, you gotta respect the next motherfucker to get down, you know. In order to, to last in this thing, bro. You understand? So that that's 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 where it go with me in the Hoovers, man. You know what I mean? I love them dudes, man. Rather they Hoover Crip or Hoover Criminal, man. And I'm not mad at them for doing the criminal thing. Cause as a matter of fact, I just said it time and time again. I felt them dudes did right by a crip when they said no, man, why? Be crip, man, and we gonna be killing each other and they killing us or whatever. We might as well be something else. So, they done right by it, if you ask me. Because that that was the number one rule in the protocol. That no crip should harm another crip. You understand? The protocol wasn't written until after the Buddha was killed, cuz. You know. Raymond, when Raymond was in jail when Buddha got killed, cause he he was devastated by it. He was like, what's the fuck going on? And you know, we shouldn't be doing that, homie. So that's when the protocol was written when the homie Bay brought it out of the pen and presented it to to Barefoot and Melvin them over there and, and, and told them, you know. You know, we, we need to get this shit in order, man. We shouldn't be killing each other. That's why we did have a protocol. Now, some people, oh, no, man, it wasn't nothing. Da, 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 da. But, I mean, it's facts and it's evident that Cuz had this paper that was written by the, by the home, by the big brother, man, Raymond. Which was the protocol, bro, you know, for us to stand on. You know. But as we all know, man, over time, it just got bad and got out of hand, man, you know, and, uh, when, uh, little Annie, uh, little Moo Moo was killed, and, uh, and when Tyrone from the Rolling Sixties was killed, they was killed the same year, man, roughly around the same time, same year. I believe uh, little Moo Moo was before Cuz, but I'm not sure. P.T. said, said, I believe the little moon was before Tyrone, God. But you know, after that, man, it's just booty out way bad. The same thing with Compton, man, when the little Brim from the South Side was killed. You know, when the Brim from the South Side was killed, cuz, then it, it went bad with them and Palmer Block. And then we all know the rest, you know, some Tanners and shit and everybody else and South Sides and Thanks, and everybody got, got at each other next, man, and then they really got haywire out there, bro. You know. But you know, we all, man, you know, we, we, we need to get back to what we once was, bro. And, you know, it ain't no winners in this shit, cuz, you know, you we can't go by the, 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 the murder count, the, the counts and all that, I mean. What we got to go by is that people people dying, people have died, and people will continue dying if we continue with it up, you know, with this job, man. And we need to cut it, homie. Seriously, man, we need to draw the line. We need to live some. We need to say, hey, homie, you know what I mean? We done lost enough homies as it is, cause we're, we're, I'm tired of funerals, cause we need to do something. What can we do? You know. And then, you know, things that you feel like, you know, are scandalous and ain't right, you know, and this and that and that, they probably feel ain't scandalous and ain't right neither. So, um, uh, at least with all the shit that we agree upon, 
We can start with that. Everything we agree with, let's agree to do that with one another. Then we work on other shit down the line. The shit we can't reach a point on. So well, let's set this on the bank, bro. And let's work on these, homie, that we all agree on. You know what I mean? And then we let's take these steps, man. Like I said, we ain't got to be fucking picnicking and barbecuing and type of truces and all that. We don't need to do that. All we need to do is make agreements as an adult. Make agreements as an adult. To say, uh, no, this motherfucker won't stay on, bro. What's up with that? Ooh, might as well look through this ass the mirror, shit. I can't see shit. Which one is? Is it this side? Or is it this side? <laughs> I ain't gonna worry about it. Fuck it. I need to get in the mirror and see what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, man, we need to get back to basics, man. We need to get back to basics, cuz. And we need to come to grips, man, and, and cut a lot of shit out, man, and, and, and reach some type of understanding, because we, we we not stupid people, man. We civilized people, man. So, you know, we, we, we you know our, our children's lives is at stake, man, and we, we can't play around and continue to, to be bullshitting with this here, man. So, come on, y'all. Let, let, let's do this, cuz. We can do this, man. We can do this, man. We can live some, cuz. Let's tone down the violence, man. Let's stop using these, these guns on one another, homie. And let's like, act like some civilized people, all right? Well, not only my hoovers, but uh, all y'all, man. Crips, blood, disciples, vice lords, Mexicans, Asians, Cubans, Latinos, Indians, Arabs, you know, you name it, man. White people, whatever. Because if you come out of the culture, man, the gang culture, you my brothers, you my sisters, man. You my brothers, you my sisters, you my nieces, you my nephews, you my uncles, you my aunties, and stuff like that. We family, man. We all understand this life, man. The struggle's the fucking same. You know what I mean? <clears throat> We all understand it, bro. So let's compromise and live some. On that note, I'm out. May God bless and protect each and every last one of us from all evils. Because there's plenty of evils on this earth. It's your boy Sad, Crip Sad, Compton Chapter, and I'm out.